Israeli cabinet ministers have joined in the mass outcry and sharply criticized ultra-Orthodox Jewish protesters who dressed children up as Holocaust concentration camp inmates in an effort to highlight what they see as unfair press coverage. The protest, which included young children, was targeted at what Orthodox Jews say is hostile coverage of the Haredi gender segregation campaign and of Haredi Judaism more generally. The rally was organized after an Orthodox Jew was jailed for vigilante attacks on a bookshop. Ultra-Orthodox websites later said that the rally became a fight against incitement. Senior Israeli politicians were quick to condemn the protest, with the finance minister offering a particularly stinging rebuke. We must not use the Holocaust and its memory in the internal arguments and conflicts within the state of Israel. I'm sorry to see this thing. I don't think that it's illegal, but I think it's morally and ethically wrong. Nothing can come even close to the Holocaust, and I think that there must not be a cheapening of Holocaust symbols cheapening the symbols of the Holocaust. He seemed to hit it on the head. Israeli newspapers denounced the use of Holocaust-related imagery as a horror show and as being vulgar. Kadima chairwoman Zippy Livni called the actions extremely disrespectful. Tensions between the Orthodox community and the broader and more secular Israeli society have come to the fore recently. In perhaps the most incendiary incident, an eight-year-old girl was recently harassed on her way to school for not covering her arms. The incident brought thousands onto the streets to protest at what they see as Orthodox Jews' increasingly disproportionate control over everyday life in Israel. Scenes such as this may be set to continue. Haredim currently account for 10% of the population, but high birth rates mean that in 50 years' time, that figure could grow to a third.